Hi, and welcome to another episode of the morning meeting. And today we are doing a 10 minute home care training with Julio Briones. Before we get started, a couple of things. If this is your first time visiting the channel, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and also to give this video a thumbs up. Also, uh, this channel is dedicated to the world of private duty home care. We'll teach you how to grow your business, operational tips, and we have this segment, which is the 10 minute training. If there's any topic in particular that you would like for us to cover, please feel free to leave a comment below and we will definitely take it into consideration. Also, visit us on the web at www thebrionisgroup.com. Uh, we are always having uh, sales on there on different uh, paperwork kits, things like that, courses, so you can help your business grow and improve. And on a final note, before we get uh, started on the training, um, also join us on our Facebook group that's called Private Duty Home Care, Prepare, Plan, Rebuild, There'll be links for all of this uh, in the comment section below. So now let's get started. In today's home care training, 10 minute training, we are going to talk about one of the biggest struggles, especially new home care agencies have after they've opened their doors, client acquisition. We're gonna specifically talk a little bit about what your strategy should be in order to get the outcomes that will help grow your business. Now, your typical home care agency um, will have about 150 000 to 250,000 in billable hours on their first year. This is private duty, and I'm talking about someone without a lot of experience and not necessarily in the franchise world. When we're talking about franchises, that number moves into the $250,000 mark to about $600,000, depending on individual performance and previous industry knowledge, right? And we're looking at max peak performance of a franchise unit right around the 1.25 million to about 1.75 million for franchised uh, home care agencies and for non-franchised somewhere because of the territory sizes, somewhere around the two and a half million to three and a half million mark with the exceptional top earners being in the five to $10 million range um, for private pay only. Now these numbers change dramatically once you factor in, you know, how much, how much are you taking into account from non private pay sources? Are you taking VA? Are you taking Medicaid? Are you taking state waiver? So on and so forth. Do you also participate in home health as an industry? But for the purpose of this, cha this channel, we are sticking strictly to the private pay model. Now in year one, your hope is to achieve by the end of the third month, typically, um, two, one to two referrals per month, steadily increasing without too much attrition to where you're going to end up with a total of 12 to 24 clients after your first 12 months of operation. Now for some, this number is very easy to achieve and not just achieve, but blow out of the water. But for the majority of the people that are starting out in the home care industry, especially if they do not have the necessary experience or know-how of growing this business. Maybe they worked in the operations, maybe they worked in uh, the field medical, maybe they were nurses, maybe they were uh, caregivers and you've decided to go into this business. Client acquisition can be daunting. So I'm going to give you the basic formula that we teach to all of our clients. Your goal, if you want to achieve 12 to 24 clients in that first year, which is an average of one to two clients a month, again, taking into account for attrition, meaning you may end up with four to six clients or for uh, one month, and then no clients for two months after. 
it, it's irrelevant. We're looking for the total number at the end of the year. In order to achieve this, you have to understand what your marketing mix needs to be and how to apply this mix so that your inbound referrals translates into clients. So for, for us to do this, we need to understand that there is a big difference between those word of mouth referrals, those referrals that are generated by your in-group, your influencers network, and by uh, creating referral partnerships with other businesses versus getting them from digital sources such as Google, um, such as Bing, such as uh, pay-per-click advertisement, Facebook, you know, lead generation companies. Uh, there's a number of them that we can mention and go into. But all of these are, those two services are very, very different. For example, any client referred to you by a trusted source, by word of mouth referral that comes from an existing client, existing caregiver, a, one of your in-group partners, or from a, a trusted referral partner in a facility, those will generally be qualified leads that are going to have a conversion rate at the moment of intake of about 65% to get you into the home and depending on your skill level comfort and experience anywhere between 70 to 95 percent conversion rate and becoming an actual client those numbers are excellent uh, especially for first year and again depending on how well trained your staff is how much experience everyone has and how comfortable people are with the process itself the numbers will vary your success rate on the other hand from digital sources, even with an experienced staff, you are looking at about a 12 to 20% conversion rate from intake to in-home, and then a higher rate once you're in the home. The issue is that these digital leads, are, they're unqualified. Um, even if you're paying $70, $80 for one of these leads, they, they don't have a very high conversion rate because they're shopping around. These people may not necessarily need services right when you do, but they still need to be, um, they still need to be chased after. You still need to work the leads just like any other lead and work them until you can sign a client. Technique we'll talk about in another video. So your mix needs to comprise of these two groups, your referral, by a person or a business, plus your digital leads that come in from you know, the internet. And your goal should be between 20 and 30 leads coming in every month. Now I know you're saying to yourself, but my God, Julio, how am I gonna do this? I've only been in business for a short while. I don't have a referral, ship, a referral partnership or circle and I haven't begun to build my in-group yet. Well, what are we gonna do? The solution is simple. You increase the amount of volume coming in from digital sources until it balances out. Once you get to a point where you are doing about 10 to 12 actual referrals from your in-group or your referral partners, then you start scaling back the number of leads you're getting from digital but your goal should still be 20 to 30 leads per month. I don't care if you've been open for 20 years and you're making 10 million a year, this is a habit that you should get into. It will give you consistent and steady growth. If you are new, it will exponentially get your business moving faster. And if you are an established business and you've hit that plateau of that one and a half, two million, two and a half million mark of annual revenue, it will generally increase your revenue by about 15 to 20% annually. There are other tips and we're going to get into them in other videos on how to get beyond that plateau and on how to ramp up your business in your first year. But for now, just understand this. You need that two prong strategy and you should strive for 20 to 30 leads per month.
Thank you again. This has been a 10 minute home care training with Julio Briones as part of the morning meeting channel. Once again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and check out our links in the comment section for different, um, different opportunities to connect with us further and to learn more. Have a great day. Thank you.